Hello guys, you are welcome to Photographics Academy. Alright, so today we are looking at something very interesting. We are looking at how to add overlays and optical smooth effect to your images. Of course, I know the effect is something you might need to spend a lot of money to be able to put if you want to put it on set. But this video, we are going to be teaching you how to add it manually with your Photoshop. So you may not really have to pay for it, but if you have the money, of course, it's going to give you a better result. Now let's get straight into it. We'll be using this for the optical notes and we'll be adding this as the overlays. All this will be given out to you for free in this video. Just stick till the end to be able to get the password and download it so that you can be able to use it for your own images. Of course, this image uh, is submitted by SkyMeet Photography, an amazing photographer based somewhere in Anambra State, called, somewhere called on it in Nigeria. I don't know where you're watching from, but he's an amazing photographer. You can go check him out on Instagram, Skynet, Skynet. The link to his profile will be dropped in the description, so you can check him out. All right, so without wasting time, let's get straight into business. All right, so I'm going to collapse all of this. The first thing we're going to be doing now is to fix the backdrop. So I have stuffs around here that I do not want. So you can actually select it and fill it up with content aware. Let's see how well that's going to work. Let's see how well that's going to work. Oh, this is nice. Okay, so you can just do the same thing here as well. Needing to content aware and bam, it's gone. Let's look at it. Nice. Okay, so we'll have a clean uh, or an empty backdrop right now. So the, the second thing we'll be doing is to fix the depths on the floor. Uh, I don't really think I'm going to fix it that much, but let's see how it goes. I still like the text also that I, that I do not want the, the colors on the floor. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to select subject using my Photoshop select subject tool. And I'm going to inverse the selection control shift I. Go to inverse the selection. Of course, duplicate this, right click, go to layer vehicle. So we'll have an empty backdrop. But if you look at this image very well, you're going to notice that this place is empty so we want to fill it up what we'll do right now is to make a selection of that particular area or even without making the selection you can just go to edit go to content aware field content aware field put on open this up go to edit content aware field it's not filling up okay we didn't make a selection so we need to make the selection collapse this tool so that we'll have this image empty like that just make a selection of the objects like this then go to edit content aware view so it's going to fill up that particular area for us so let's wait for it and see what it does nice okay so you can actually go to your go to your custom so you can use your brush so you can use your brush and make pick the areas you want to add like this something like this if you feel the selection is not perfect the feeling is not perfect then wait for it to apply let's see how that goes let's see how that goes so just wait for your own to apply okay so i think this is better press apply or press ok let's just load it up straight up so we'll have it loaded up here we'll have it loaded up here you can actually use your clone stamp to do the remaining filling just to clean these areas up hold on okay so use your clone stamp to clean to fill these remaining areas up I have to match these two layers. Match layers. Okay, so have it matched. Pick up your clothes stamp. Seal up the remaining area. You can only use. Can only use your. Can only use your pass tool as well. Just want to make sure we have a clean background. I can work with. Yeah, and then that. Select here as well. Just drag it back a little. Okay, so we have an empty backdrop right now so this has to come up like that nice okay, so we'll have it like that so this is our image this is our background this is the image this is the background this is the background. i think i'm using a little bit of my shadow there of course we can get that back later using a uh, mask but for now let's get straight to work let's get straight to work so the next thing i want to do here is that i want to smoothen out the background I want to smoothen out the background you can do that by going to blur just blow it out a little. 
think that I'm losing my texture. So to avoid that, let me just take care of the color on the floor and use my hue saturation, pick any color on the floor and reduce the, yeah, reduce the saturation, maybe increase the brightness a little to get rid of that color on the floor. I just don't want the color. So we'll have it taken care of. You can match the two of them together. I don't want to have a lot of layers to work with. Okay, so the next thing we'll be doing right now is to bring in our cloud. So we'll bring in our cloud. I think I'll have to use this one. Let's see how it goes. So drag this over the image, place it like this, just like that. Press OK, scale it up, scale it up, make sure the floor is perfectly positioned. I uh, don't think I want it on the floor like that. So just make this come out a little like this. I want it out. I'm just stretching some areas so that it will look realistic at the end of the day. Don't worry, you are going to like the results. Something like that. Make down a little. Nice. Like this. Press OK. Then we'll change the blend mode to somewhere around soft lights. Light. Let's look for a blend mode that will work. Okay, so we'll reduce the opacity. Yeah, beautiful. Still blow it out a little so it doesn't look too sharp for the image like that. So next thing I'm going to be doing is to desaturate it because I want to have my clean backdrop, that white clean backdrop. I do not want colors on it yet. Yes, beautiful. You can check if the opacity works. I think I want it a little bit grungy. So let's use it like that. Press OK. So it's building up into by little. The next thing we're going to add now is our smooth effect. We'll add our smooth effect to make the whole image stand out. So to do that, we we'll go to our smooth effect. I've already done the selection. So just drag it over here, place it over our image. Make sure it's behind your subject like this. Make sure it's behind your subject. If you want it big, if you want it small, I think I just want it like this first. Okay. Change the blend mode screen to get rid of the black edges. So take up your brush, create a mask for it, and clean all the circle areas around it. Just the circle areas bits. This. So we'll have a very clean, smooth effect on our background like this. So you can decide to scale this in, you can decide to scale it up. And decide to even change the perspective depending on what you want. I think I want to make it a little bit bigger than that. Maybe have her head at that converging line. What do you think? I think I prefer it with the way it was. Okay, so this is better for me. If I'm going to make any changes, I'm going to do that later. Now, the next thing we're going to do is I want to color it up a little. We'll color it up a little to do that. Just create a solid color adjustment layer above. Maybe we'll try blue for now. Try somewhere around here for now. Then link it together. Clip it with your clipping mask like that. Change the blend mode. Change the blend mode to anyone that works. I think I like the darken. I think I like what I have here. Let's see be fun after, be fun after. So you can of course go and still change your color to anything you want later. Like change it to green, you can change it to red. Any color you feel that works better for you. I think we'll just do green. Green is not entirely good. I'm looking for the best color to use. I think I'll stick with my blue. I think I'll stick with the blue for now. Okay, so we'll have this. I think my background needs to get a little darker in order to make the effect stand out. The smooth effect stand out. You can decide to blow it out a little and decide to blow the effect out a little. I'm not feeling this background. What do you think? Go to the comment section. And tell me what you think about this my cloud background i'm not feeling the backdrops i think i'll have to just go straight with the original backdrop of the image without adding the overlay to it i'm not feeling the background in not it's not giving me exactly what i want so i think i'm just going to stick with the original background probably make this snoot a bit bigger to cover up the whole area like this nice. can even use it to form your background and gets a bit bigger like this. Imagine you have this on your image. I think this is beautiful. I think I like what I'm seeing here. So you can actually make it to form your background and it creates those boxes behind your image. 
but I think I'll stick with the shape. I'll stick with the shape and this is good. This is good. You can as well change the color of your background to anything you want. Go to solid color, clip your background, clip the color to the background so that anything you are doing will just be applying on the background. You can decide to make it pure white. But I think I prefer the way it was. I think I prefer the original background. So we'll delete the solid color. You can decide to add your own texture. That is how those style we can add the stays using your images of your choice. I feel I need to do something else. Let's see what how this one goes on the image. Let's just desaturate this over here like this. So you know Photoshop is all about being creative with what you are doing. Stretch your mind, stretch your capacity and you will get amazing results. You will get amazing results. So just fill this up. I think this will work. It's here using here as the floor. Let's see how it goes. Find the layer. Let's replace it. Open this one up. Change the blend mode to soft light. Valet. How does that do? Okay, so I will stick to the original background. And this is how you can create your smooth effect using this technique. This is how we started. This is the image when we started. Cleaned up the background. Added our optical smooth. Added a color to it, and this is the final result. Imagine if we remove the colors, we are still having amazing, amazing, amazing result. Thank you for watching this video. Please do not forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel and click on the notification button to get notified every single time we drop a new video. Go to the comment section, tell me what you think about the background. Should I add a little texture to it, or should I stick with the clean, clean background the way it is? I remember all the uh, all the all the props we used in this video we are giving it out for free so just go to the description download it and watch the video till the end to get a password thank you for watching see you some other time